Hey, welcome back. Today we're covering five must-do things when visiting Busan, South Korea. Number one is visit some traditional markets and some not-so-traditional markets. Busan is a large port city, and if it comes from the ocean, you are likely to find it here. Some of the local favorites include mackerel and pufferfish. Live, fresh, sliced raw, dried, whatever your heart desires. And here's a little tip. Some of these booths have restaurants in back, and they'll cook up just about anything you see outside. For something a little bit more non-traditional, head on over to your local convenience store. Grab yourself some Korean beer and soju. And check out the array of packaged foods. I mean, this convenience store is like no other. Number two on the list is eat yourself some pufferfish. Pufferfish, otherwise known as blowfish, are the second most poisonous vertebrate in the world. These fish have a powerful neurotoxin that is deadly to humans. And get this, there is no antidote. But don't worry, your chef will be trained on how to handle this deadly fish. Its tender, delicate meat is good in soups and stews or lightly fried. Well, I did say this is a large port city, and that means it's near the ocean, which also means it has a beach. And no list could be complete without a visit to the beach. Heunde Beach sits on a bay near the city center, so you're going to want to take a walk on the beach in the day and at night. It is beautiful. Just look at the skyline. There's an undersea breakwater about 330 meters long that protects the coastline. Those statues mark where the breakwaters begin. Don't forget to take a picture or a selfie at the famous Heonde Beach sign. And just saying, you may want to come back in 2030 because Busan is hosting the World Expo. What is the World Expo? Well, Google probably knows a lot more about it than I do, but it looks pretty fun. Hyundai Beach also hosts a sandcastle competition in April or May. So if you're traveling during those times, you may see some of the sandcastles. And here's another tip for you. If you're walking toward the north end of the beach, as you cross the roads that intersect, the winds can get amazingly strong and almost blow you into the beach. Number four on the list is Dongbek Park on Dongbek Island. Except Dongbek Island is not really an island. It used to be an island, but it no longer is. It's now part of the mainland. Dongbek means camellia in English. You'll find these small evergreen shrubs blooming all around the island. One trail in this popular park follows the coastline on a wooden deck. The other is a circular trail that climbs up and passes observatories, including the lighthouse and carved stone. Heonde <laughs> is said to get its name from a popular Korean philosopher, Che Chi Won. He said this place had such natural beauty, he named it Sea Cloud Platform, a direct translation of Heonde. At the highest point of the island stands a statue of Che Chi Wong, along with a Korean architected octagonal pavilion. Here's another tip. As you walk down the circular path, take note of the magpies in the wooded area. And last, but certainly not least, is to take the Busan Sky Cruise, otherwise known as a cable car, at Songdo Beach. Here you have the option of traveling in a car with a transparent floor. With windows on all sides and a transparent bottom, you can get amazing views of the bay below in Songdo Beach. The ride to Songdo Bay Station takes about 15 to 20 minutes. Operation is dependent on the weather. During our trip, we were forced to come back early due to high winds. While aboard, you'll get some amazing views of the ship traffic down below, as well as some of the techniques used to control erosion. See those dark lines in the water? That's a seaweed farm. As the journey continues, you'll arrive at Songdu Sky Park. Here you'll find three stories of cafes, restaurants, and gift shops. 
The suspension bridge offers amazing views of downtown Busan. However, it was closed during our visit. Don't forget to bring your camera. There will be tons of opportunities to take a selfie or a photograph with some of the unique attractions. <laughs> bigger. Here's another tip for you. Bring some thoughts. This moment garden allows you to put your thoughts down like a time capsule. Come back and collect it on another trip. Feeling adventurous and a little bit over the edge? Take a ride on this sky swing. They have a swing. And speaking of sky swing, it's time for us to swing out of here. I hope you enjoyed this content. If you did, please consider subscribing to the channel.